Look at this. Full throttle. Here we have it, the brand new Altus. This is a production bike, so it's not the official one that's completely done yet, but they're nice enough to let me and Matt take two of these out. This is pushing 20 kilowatts with a 96 volt battery, so you know this thing is absolutely gonna rip. Already comes equipped with a 1916. We got a full-size moto seat, we got full-size pegs, and we got the plastics, which honestly is my favorite. This thing looks like a mini Stark Varg. We got two of them, we're gonna go rip the hills, rip the streets, and then of course, we gotta rip the track, so. This bike is definitely powerful. It's about the size of a, I would say it's the same size as a Suron, but this thing coming stock, it already comes pretty tricked up. Look at the brakes. The brakes on this thing are actually super good too. Front and rear disc brakes. I wanna say this is a 280 rotor. I believe it's a 280 rotor. And this is also just a prototype bike. So the ones that are gonna come out in a couple months are probably gonna be a tad bit different, but for the most part, this thing, it's absolutely insane. It looks really good. In my opinion, it looks kind of like a mini Stark Varg, I think, which is kind of cool. Sprocket is a little smaller than what we normally run. We normally run like a 54. I think Matt's is maybe a little bit bigger on that bike. But check this out, the rear shock, the way it's mounted, it has like an actual linkage system, which is cool, which is actually like a dirt bike. So if we look up front here, look at these front forks. These things are actually pretty beefy and they're gold. I like the all red. The all red look just looks super good to me. We have actual hubs on this thing too. It's not a mountain bike hub. The display is not on at the moment. Okay, here we go. First hill climb test with all this power. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> holy. Oh my gosh. And climb up me is no problem. I'm just not getting any traction. Look at this, full throttle. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. Yeah, if I get like proper suspension, full, dude, this thing is pretty rad. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm literally quarter throttle in it, too. Oh. Need some Dunlops for a little bit better traction. But for now, this works. Dude, it is fast. That's awesome. That's awesome. The power was. You're not even gonna need a power upgrade on this thing because it's already gonna come like this. So fast. Dude, they are quick. So fast. Going up the hill and stuff. Dude, you gotta get a good run going up the hill because if you get a good run and you pin it, you, you can't even hold on. It's like a rocket ship. I guess the best way I could put it on our Suron E-Ride Ultra B, it's so snappy, right? But then you give it full throttle and after you're going, what, 30, 40? It feels like it doesn't have much more to give. This thing feels like you get on it and it just keeps pulling all the way through. My goodness. Dude. Someone put Ken Roxon on this bike. Kenny's on this bike with some suspension. It is so slippery. I got no traction on this thing. Oh my God. Yeah, I do like how it just keeps climbing though. It feels good. Holy, I gotta watch out for the roost, that's gonna hurt. Whoa. Oh, let's swap. Okay. Okay, so Matt's going on the 1619, I'm going on the 1919. That's the one right there, that's the one to have. I don't know who'd be liking to run 1919s, man. Here we go. 1919 hill climb test. Oh, slippery. Dude, it is so fast. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a little reckless. I'm not even gonna lie. It's slippery. Come on. Put the weight on the rear. 
Yeah, the 16 climbs better. As it should. But that doesn't mean this thing's not climbing. This thing's definitely getting it done. I gotta be careful on this thing. I could literally tell from going up that that 1916 climbed a million times better, even though there's like not much tread on this stuff. And it rides better too. Yeah. And of course, everything's so good. Rides better, looks better, feels better. So you don't have to worry about your belt stripping with pushing all this power because it's direct motor drive. So that's definitely a, an, an upside. Definitely want to go ride it on some street because then I could kind of feel. He said that this one possibly go 80 miles an hour. 80 miles per hour. What the hell do we need to go 80 miles an hour for on one of these things? You gotta do a wheelie test, so I'm on the 19. It's gonna feel a little weird. Oh, the sprocket's a little smaller too, but oh yeah. Whoa, I can hold it. Front wheel stopped spinning, that's why I dropped it. And also I suck at wheelies, but. Oh yeah, this thing will wheelie for days. Guys, all these bikes are a little bit different geometry. Which is not an excuse, but as far as like holding the wheelie and stuff, it's definitely possible. So that one's supposed to be faster, Zach. Yeah, because I have a smaller gearing than you. Yeah, that one's supposed to go 85. I don't think I'm going to hit 85. I think I'm scared to hit 85. Let's go. Ready? You can go first. Here we go. Full throttle. There we go. Oh my gosh, I have to slow down. That's scary. I got no stabilizer, so it's kind of scary. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. There's no way. There's literally no way. That is insane. I feel like I keep saying that. Take a shot every time I say that's insane or oh my gosh. It'll be hammered by the end of this video. Let's go, let's go. I don't even know if you guys can tell how fast I'm going, but I feel like I'm... Yo, that's like... Yo, you got a Hellcat? Bring it out, dude. Let's go. You got a Lambo? You got an R8? I don't know what you got. Whatever you got, bring it out and race me on this thing because I guarantee you, this thing is going to beat it. Dude, that thing just kept wheeling. This thing's faster. That thing's faster? This thing is. Did you see how fast I was going? Yeah, you are going. It like felt way faster. faster than this thing. Yeah. So. I need to ride this one and see. Oh my gosh, Matt. What are you doing? Why'd you go behind him? I wanted to catch the Tesla, dude. dude I was jump faster than What one. are you doing? I thought bro. I was done. He freaking hit the brake. Dude. I stopped though. There's for sure a flat spot in that thing from that. It's kid. all good, boys. We got the speed touched in. <laughs> Look, he's going like 25. <laughs> bro. Oh my gosh, man.
this bike definitely weighs a lot. I don't know what the weight is. Definitely weighs more than an E-Ride and a Suron, but at least it looks good. So that is, I guess, one downside is it weighs more, but as far as wheeling and riding, you can't really feel it. So it's the last part of the video right here. So we're gonna hit a little bit of the jumps. Um, don't think I'm gonna hit everything to, a, to the full extent, because for one, these aren't my bikes. I don't want to break them. Yeah. I wonder if I can get my EXT forks on the front of this, because if I could do that, this thing would be all time. Yeah, I could also feel the weight. But I mean, when you're gonna run more power and a faster battery, that's, of course you're gonna feel the weight of it, you know? So it's kind of like, not too bad. Cool thing about this bike too, is we could kind of land wide open. And not worry about the uh, the belt strip and or, yeah. It works. This one feels bad. I like. The, I just like the the wheel setup. Let me try this bike again. Yeah, you could definitely drive. It's just too soft, dude. Yeah. Ergonomically, feels good. Jumps good. You can feel the weight a little bit. When I'm in the air. I don't know if you can. I, I can. Not really. Yeah, I can feel the weight a little bit. It's not bad. It's just you can just tell it's heavier. It also feels heavier because the suspension's so soft. That's true. You kind of so blow soft. through everything because the yeah. suspension's too soft. So definitely need more stiff front and rear. There you go. All right, guys. So all in all, my final impressions of the Altis is I think that this bike is going to be the bike. This bike had a 40 pound spring, but the new production bikes that are going to be coming out have a 50 pound spring. Also, these are air forks, so you can pump up the air forks to 40 bar, 50 bar, uh, whatever is going to feel most comfortable for you. Suspension should definitely not be an issue, not to mention the bike just looks really good as a whole as well. So it has all the aesthetic points. It's nice that a company finally came out with a bike that I know is going to be good right off the bat. I see all these different e-bikes companies coming out with bikes but there's like little things here and there that i don't like because every bike that we normally get you need to do stuff to ride it the way we want to this bike is ready to go right off the bat the fact that it comes with bigger front and rear rotors for better stopping power is a huge game changer as well and yeah i just think that the altus is going to take over personally i think that this is the bike to get i don't see any other bike beating it it's like if a company listened to all the viewers all the comments and just put together exactly what everyone wanted so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to get my hands on an altus for full time uh until then i'll see you guys in my next video peace